Hey there, welcome back to How to Medicate and welcome to this new video on how to use valproic acid, also known as Depakin. This video is part on a video series on mental health problems and for those of you interested, check out the playlist in the description after watching this video, of course. This video also comes with a quick introduction. My name is Raoul, I'm a medical doctor from the Netherlands and I'm making weekly medical videos to educate myself as well as you, my viewers, because I believe that medically educated people make healthier decisions, which is the whole point of this video and this entire channel. And this video also comes with a quick disclaimer, it's meant purely informational, this is not medical advice, and when looking for medical advice, you should always contact your own doctor. Now quickly, let's get learning. Now as mentioned, the generic name of this medication is valproic acid, but it's sold under several brand names like Dipakine and Valproate Sodium. And it's available as tablets, drinks, drops, suppositories and injections. Which brings us to how to use this medication. If you want to use it as a tablet, make sure to swallow it whole with half a glass of water. Do not break the tablet and do not chew on it, as this can decrease its effectivity. If you want to use it as a drink or as a drop, measure the correct amount with a dosing syringe or a measuring cup. Mix the dose with half a glass of water or with lemonade and take it. If you want to use it as a suppository, insert the suppository into the anus. You can even moisten the suppository with a little water. This makes inserting it a little easier. And lastly, if you're using valproic acid as an injection, your doctor or your nurse will place the injection. Now it's important to take valproic acid at fixed times, as this makes it easier for you to take the dosages at regular times without forgetting a dose. Also, take this medication with some food. This decreases your chances on side effects like nausea. This applies for all dosage forms except for suppositories and injections. Furthermore, after taking valproic acid for a few days up to several months, your doctor may evaluate if valproic acid is effective for you. If not, your doctor may change your dose or switch to another medication. Valproic acid is part of a group of drugs called anti-epileptic drugs. Its working mechanism is largely unknown, but it can be used to treat several medical conditions like epilepsy, bipolar disorder and migraine. Which brings us to the correct dosages to use. Unfortunately, I can't provide you with specific dosages as these differ depending on your specific symptoms, your indication of use and the severity of your symptoms. However, most commonly, your doctor will slowly increase your dose up to a maintenance dose. When treating epilepsy in adults, a common maintenance dose would be 900 to 2500 mg per day. For manic episodes and bipolar disorder, it would be 1000 to 2000 mg per day. And when treating migraine, it's 300 to 500 mg twice a day. Now, considering these differences in dosages, it is important to always use the prescribed amount and frequency your doctor gave you. Furthermore, valproic acid can be a very effective drug, but it can have some serious side effects as well. I will cover one of the most common ones in this video, but if you're looking for a complete list, check your leaflet, ask your doctor or your pharmacist. Very commonly, it can cause tremors and nausea. Commonly, it may cause amnesia, hypersensitivity, confusion, aggression, liver damage, or an increased weight. Uncommonly, it can cause blood count abnormalities, reversible Parkinson-like symptoms, sensory loss, inflammation of blood vessels, or a low temperature. And rarely, it might cause other serious, partly reversible adverse reactions. Which brings us to the safety of use. First of all, do not combine valproic acid and alcohol, as this might increase its side effects. Furthermore, it can also be dangerous to drive while using this drug, as it can cause you to become drowsy, sleepy and or dizzy. If you experience any of these side effects, then please do not drive. In addition, valproic acid can also cause some interactions with the other drugs you're taking. And lastly, the usage of valproic acid can be dangerous when pregnant or when breastfeeding. However, there are some exceptions where the usage could be continued. You should always discuss this with your personal doctor. Now, I hope this video was helpful and I hope you know now how to use valproic acid. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section and I will do my best to answer each and every one of them. I hope you learned something because educated people make healthier decisions, which is the whole point of this video. And for those of you that want to keep on learning, check out the mentioned playlist in the description for more awesome medical content, which could be important for you and your health. Thank you all for watching. If you did learn something, please leave a like. This will help out the channel tremendously and consider subscribing. I'm trying to reach 100,000 subscribers before the end of the year and you can help me make that dream a reality. 
Lastly, I also have an Instagram account. For those of you that can't get enough, check it out at How to Medicate. And a word of thanks to my Patreon subscribers. Thank you, Sebastian, who is an investor to your subscriber. Thanks once more. And as always, I will see you next week with a new video. Bye bye.